or rather can't say the dog there, from the Northern Celts. He used to speak Welsh, but he's just forgotten, but he's still got the accent, hasn't it? Well, how can he just fight? Oh. Okay, Keith Donnelly again. Hey, don't get too excited, will you? You can let them in now. Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and children. First of all, something just for the children. I'm doing a children's show tomorrow, but as there's some children down the front, can you understand me if I talk a bit slow? Do you know how to play Simon Says? Well, I put the guitar in. This is Simon Says. Simon Says, put your fingers in your ears. Because these two nuns in the nudist colony. Oh, it's just a joke, kids. It's just a joke. Fingers out. <laughs> Simon didn't say take them out. Right. I presume that was my introduction, was it? Was that was that Keith O, Keith O. Does that make it well? Should we put an O on the end? It's nice to be in Moldo. Uh, where I have I have been before. Because I when you, when I when I saw the theatre clue it, I thought, oh I've played there, but I don't know when. And I don't know where. Are you going? Yeah, that was the best bit, that Simon Says thing. Oh, Simon Says move forward. Especially if you haven't got enough clothes on. You know? Probably sure, well. Uh, well, right. So, um, I've, I've warmed up. I, I was supposed to go and see some friends of mine. I'll start the show in a minute, by the way. Those of you who haven't seen me before, you better just be warned. There's going to be a lot of things I'm going to do in the next 45 minutes that I'm going to enjoy more than you will. If you bear that in mind, it's kind of easier to bear in mind. So, <coughs> I was supposed to go and see some friends of mine do a folk club just recently. <laughs> And I didn't, I, I, so I had a gig or something come in. Anyway, I didn't go. And I felt really guilty the next day, so I phoned up my mate Alan. And I said, how did the folk club go last night? And he said, there was two people in the audience. And I felt really guilty. And I said, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Apart from that, how did it go? And I thought, oh, no, that's just... And he said, well, it was all right until the fight broke out. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I like, I like the fact that it's a secret folk festival. It's even, it's even secret if you ask in Tesco, at McDonald's, at Aldi. Nobody knew where I was. Uh, I like the fact that there's 45 signs that have been put up and taken down again by the council apparently. Did you know this? Yes. They're not still up. I've only seen one. I've driven around more than at least 17 times. I would just... Excuse us a moment. <laughs> I know, but apparently, apparently I've been told that the signs are council sponsored, but they've been the council have taken them down again. So when I'll, is this right? Yes. See? Too professional at any point. <laughs> I'll just what she said is they just haven't put what it where it is on the sign. They haven't even put where it is on the sign outside here. I drove past that twice. Anyway, it is. Can I just say this is going to sound a bit corny, but this really is like some sort of dream come true for you lot. This, uh, <laughs> I'll do a song as soon as we can talk and it comes on. I did Gilfest a couple of weekends ago. I like Gilfest because something funny always happens at Gilfest. Except this year. Oh, what? No, I know what's funny happened this year. This year, what's funny happened at Gilfest was that Brampton Live wasn't on the same weekend. I know it was a dreadful shame because Gilfest wanted me for the whole weekend. But I'd only said I could do one day. So I got paid for one day. 
when I couldn't do it in three days. But that's, I'm just having a moan now. <laughs> but two years ago, is a, is a guitar coming out front? I can do it a bit higher up here. Look at that, it's good that lad. See what I did? It? <laughs> oh, there it is. Uh, two years ago, three years ago, maybe at Killfest, I was on stage in this big field with, I don't know, nearly a thousand people in the field. It was great. Not as, not as good as this, obviously. <laughs> I've not done anything yet other than just warm waffle. But um, halfway through one of my songs, this bloke came wandering down the field wearing very strange clothes. It was a Saturday afternoon and he'd obviously been drinking a little bit. One of those children disappeared. How did she do that? That was spooky. I looked down, there was three, and then suddenly there was two. If any more disappear, let me know. What was I saying? This bloke came down the field through the crowd, very strange clothes. Specifically, he was wearing a single flip-flop. <laughs> and he walked through the crowd singing this little song with selfish friends of the child, and made him go to the rehab. And the whole festival stopped to watch this bloke. Nobody's watching me, everybody's watching him one wobbling down the field. So I stopped as well, and as he walked past the stage, I said, because I'll talk to anybody, as he walked past the stage, I said to him, Hello mate, have you lost a flip-flop? And he went, No, I've found a flip-flop! <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Alright, I'll do... I'll do a song. Uh, I'll do a song. I'm doing a kids show tomorrow, so this is... Um, this is one I probably won't do tomorrow because I'm doing it tonight, but it's kind of kids like this song. And women like this song. I think this should probably be sung by a woman. Oh, that sounds blinking horrible. But it'll do. It's a, it, it's a love song, but it's a kind of love song with a different one. So many questions. Keep on asking me So many questions Can't you just let me be? I'm not sure you're gonna like The answers you see You ask me Do I love you More than anything? I love chocolate. I love chocolate. I love chocolate. And chips, have you got that? You know that I love you too, but I love chocolate more than you. And hot dogs. I love chocolate in the morning, chocolate in the night, chocolate when it's dark and chocolate when it's late, chocolate when it's cold, chocolate when it's hot, chocolate when I'm hungry, and chocolate when I'm not. So don't ask me what I want. I want. Okay, here's the question. Is there a Welsh word for chocolate? <laughs> Oh, you've just nicked our word there. There's a good bit that goes chalky, chalky, chalk, chalk. Chalky, chalky, chalk, chalk. They're probably going to tell people that Keith Donnelly's on. Tell them I'm on now and come quick. <laughs> Do like an echo. Chalky, chalky, chalk, chalk. Chalky, chalky, chalk, chalk. Chalky, chalky, chalk, chalk. Chucky, chucky, chuck, chuck. Chucky, chucky, chuck, chuck. Chucky, chucky, chuck, chuck. Oh, that was good. <laughs> Don't ask me what I want. Have you hurt your back? I've got a bad back as well. <laughs> I'll be the osteopath today. Chucky. I found the level. <laughs> Just take the mini out of the photographers. 
I like chocolate to nibble, chocolate to lick, chocolate really slowly, chocolate pretty quick, chocolate to gobble, chocolate to bite, chocolate when I'm feeling bad, and chocolate when I'm alright. Don't ask me what I want, just the children. I want chocolate. I don't mean I want just the children, and that's like something. Chocolate. I want a chunky chunky chunk chunk chunky chunky chunk chunk chunky chunky chunk chunk chunky chunk 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 I'm determined to get the one to see! Sure. 